The trial of an Andy Go man accused of murdering his mother is nearing an end. But would Derek Goplin take the stand in his own trial? Well, Newswatch 12's Nick Van Zyl was in the courtroom today and has more. Nick. Thanks, Dan. The defense is making the case that Goplin was acting in self-defense when he allegedly stabbed his mother. After the first witness on Friday, the defense called their final witness today before resting their case. Defense attorneys continue to make the case Monday that Derek Goplin acted in self-defense. They brought in anatomical, clinical, and forensic pathology expert Jeffrey Jensen to testify. Jensen was the chief medical examiner in Milwaukee County from 1987 to 2008 and most notably oversaw the Jeffrey Dahmer case. Jensen describes what might have happened to cause the victim's injuries during a potential struggle. It would be consistent with an individual stabbing uh, with an overhand stab over the shoulder and entering from back to front on the individual over the back. The prosecution began cross-examination and asked if any substances were present in the victim. In a case like this, uh, toxicology is routine in uh, documenting their presence of any drugs or alcohol in the system, and um, I believe it was negative in this case. The defense called two witnesses in total, but it may be who didn't testify that could have provided a first-hand account of what happened. The judge addressed Derek Goplin. Is it your decision then still uh, at this time to not testify? Yes, it is. Following the exchange, the defense rested. In the afternoon, the jury heard closing arguments. The jury is set to, for deliberations Tuesday and has to reach a unanimous decision.